हेलो एवरीवन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो हमने ये सीखा कि इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैसे काम करती है एंड उससे रिलेटेड चार्जेस कंडक्टर इंसुलेटर वगैरह क्या होते नाउ हाउ टू मेक दिस चार्जेस मूव वी वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट अगर आप इस टॉपिक को और बढ़िया से समझना चाहते हैं देन यू कैन फॉलो लखवीर सिंह एंड मंजीत कोर्स टेंथ क्लास फिजिक्स बुक पब्लिश्ड बाय एस चंद पब्लिशिंग नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद इलेक्ट्रिसिटी चैप्टर विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल टू मेक दीज चार्जेस मूव वी नीड इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल नाउ वट इज पोटेंशियल इन योर नाइन्थ क्लास you must have studied okay so potential is a kind of stored energy just like main aapko ek example deta hu ke consider there are two places ek place ko aapne ek height par rakha hai and ek place ko aapne ek kam height par rakha hai so when this place is at higher position and this place is at lower position yahan se agar aap koi cheez roll karoge so if you throw something to ye cheez slide hote hue is end par pahunch jayegi जैसे कि एक हमने एग्जाम्पल भी देखा था कि जो कि है कि अगर पानी जो है वो पहाड़ों से समंदर की तरफ क्यों आता है दिस इज जस्ट बिकॉज टू मिनिमाइज इट्स पोटेंशियल एनर्जी नाउ दैट स्टोर्ड एनर्जी विच इज हायर एट हायर पॉइंट एंड लो एट लोअर पॉइंट सो फ्रॉम हायर टू लोअर पॉइंट दिस फ्लो कैन बी जस्टिफाइड द एनर्जी दिस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज यूज एंड दिस फ्लो वी कैन टेक आउट ऑफ इट and that flow of charges is your electricity now uh, if we discuss about electric potential so what is that electric potential by definition we can see that the electric potential or potential at a point in a electric field is defined as the work done is moving a unit positive charge from infinite to that point we can uh, draw this in in a diagram so if you can see this we have some charge and we are taking one another positive charge from infinity so this is at infinity so we are bringing this charge from infinity to a particular point so the work done for this charge to bring from infinity to this point is the potential of this charge at this point so this is a definition the electric potential is a uh, at a point is an electric field is defined as the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point we have taken this a unit positive charge just to uh, avoid the problem like because in different for different charges this work done will be different so we have taken a standardized thing such as this unit positive charge and for this if we calculate this work done for bringing this charge from infinity to this point we can call this a potential now something may be at higher potential and something may be a lower potential same thing a charge can move through from higher potential to lower potential so if we move forward we can see that we need basically the potential difference if at some place you get a higher potential and at some another place you get a lower potential so you have a potential difference between these two points and this potential difference jaisa ki maine aapko abhi ek example mein bataya ke something is at a higher place एट हायर पोटेंशियल एंड समथिंग इज एट अ लोअर प्लेस तो यहाँ से हायर से लोअर की तरफ फ्लो आप ऑब्जर्व कर सकते हो सो वी नीड दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस फॉर दिस वर्क डन एंड इन दिस वे हम चार्जेस को भी फ्लो करवा सकते हैं एक इलेक्ट्रिक वायर के अंदर द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट in an electrical circuit is defined as the amount of work done is moving a unit charge from one point to another point so agar isko bhi hum draw kare so we can see in the, a picture that consider there is one positive charge so 
in consideration. Around this, we have some electric field. This is the positive charge. If we bring this charge to this point, so we have some potential, we can calculate it. And if we bring this charge to this point, we have some other potential. So consider this is point A and the potential is point is VA at this place and consider this to be point B and potential is VB at this point. So from point A to B there is a potential difference. When we leave this charge consider from this place this is at a higher potential. So if we connect this through a channel or you can say a wire metal wire so in that case this charge will flow in this direction and will go to this point as we know that positive charges repel each other so this will repel this charge and this charge will move to VA so in this way you can understand that yes this is closer to that charge but this is at a higher potential. For negative charge, this will work oppositely. Now, so the potential difference is work done and the quantity of the charge moved. The potential difference because potential is proportional to work done and we also want this quantity to be unit. So, we divide this work done by the quantity of charge and in this way we can calculate the potential difference between two points. The SI unit for potential difference is volt and in symbol we can simply represent it in terms of V and when we talk about its, its dimensionality and how it can be seen this voltage unit the potential difference between two points is said to be uh, the work done per unit quantity of charge. So the work done is in SI unit it's in joule and the quantity of charge is in coulomb so joule per coulomb this is one volt a potential difference can be measured through a laboratory instrument which is known as voltmeter so in this voltmeter how whatever potential you apply so the spin will indicate that value which voltage is applied across its terminals. Now uh, there are some numericals on it, some questions on it, some short, long and some MCQs. Finally we reach to the concept of electric current. Now when we are moving these charges through a wire, in that case we can understand about this electric current. The electric current is defined as the charge per unit time. So in a wire we are allowing charge to move from one place to another place and how much charge is moving from one to another place so that is Q in what time. So the time is T so that is current. If you allow to pass more charge so more current is passing through that wire and in terms of uh, its unit so this is uh, measured in ampere because Ampere was the first guy who used, who measured this. And in terms of SI unit, if we talk about this, this Q charge is in Coulomb and this T is in second because this is the SI unit. And finally, we get this Ampere quantity as Coulomb per second. There is an instrument which is called as ammeter. This is used to measure the amount of current passing through a circuit. There, this is one simple numerical on calculating the value of current by charge and time through this. Now we need to know the technical things that how we can uh, make this current flow in a wire. So to do this we need a battery. We need a continuous flow of current in a circuit so generally you have seen at your home that with your any appliances with any appliance you can see some batteries and through that battery charges flow 
chemically it is made like this the charges flow from one terminal to another terminal and overall your appliance works in this way the current conventionally flows from the positive of the battery to the negative of the battery and in opposite we can see the charges the electrons move from the negative to the positive so conventionally the flow of electric current is opposite to the flow of our electrons this is just for some technical convenience you may learn this in uh, later in your courses in a nutshell if we observe this video to humne sabse pehle ye dekha ki koi bhi jo aapke paas electric current hai use hum kis tarike se understand karte hain some quantities related to electric current to electric current ke liye aapko sabse pehle charge ki jo measurement hai that you should know and that charge per unit times give you that electric current value now that charge is made to flow because of the potential difference between two points when this charge flows aap us current ko measure kar sakte hain through an ammeter and also you can use a voltmeter to measure the potential difference between those terminals finally we looked at there are some things like batteries which we usually use at our home to get a continuous flow of current through our appliances agar aap is topic ko aur badhiya se samajhna chahte hain then you can follow lakveer singh and manjeet course 10th class physics book published by s chan publishing don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and humse jude rehne ke liye isko subscribe karna na bhuliye take care have a good day all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder